This is Get Real with Bob and Stacy, the show that helps you learn about the mortgage and real estate markets. Get the inside scoop from their expert list of guests and have some fun along the way. Now, here's Bob Callagher and Stacy Alcorn. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Real Estate Matters here on the Money Matters Radio Network. I'm your host, Bob Callagher, with Ross Mortgage Company. I'm joined today in studio by my co-host, as always, Peter DeMore, Vice President of Sales for Ross Mortgage. Pete, welcome to the show. Thanks, Bob. Glad to be here. I got to talk to our guest, which you'll introduce in a minute, and uh, we're going to have a great show today. I see it coming. We are. We are. My good friend, and uh, also do do a lot of business with him, Dick Urato from uh, ERA Key Realty Services Distinctive Group in Marlboro. Dick, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Welcome, uh, uh, Dick. Thank you. Thank you. Stop thank you that so much. applauseing back there. <laughs> I, I, with that kind words, I don't know if I should be running for something right now. So <laughs> The hills. <laughs> uh, so, Dick, uh, you're, you're on the show today to talk about real, the real estate market that you serve and what you see out there and to educate our listeners as well as entertain them. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what's happening right now that I see uh, a lot with these, um, a lot of open houses that we do. And my background, as you see, is, you know, I had a big, strong background in finance and mortgages right. and uh, in the construction area. And, and at this point right now, I have so many of my clients calling and saying, you know, should I sell? Should I buy? What, what's going on? And uh, they need a lot of guidance. A lot of people right. out there just don't have it. And that's why you and I and Ross Mortgage have worked so great together over the years is because right. we bring that uh, that dynamic team, right? that service level that is, isn't really out there. You're There's right. a lot of car salesmen out there, but uh, I think when you bring that service level up to a higher notch, uh, that, that makes a difference because people want to be informed. They do. And I always learned that you know people rarely remember what you say, mm-hmm. but they never forget how you make them feel. You're absolutely right. You know, And that's, in, that's important right now. And I think that's the thing because... It's a service industry all now, whatever you do. And I tell my clients all the time, you know, you have a doctor, you have a lawyer, you have a hairdresser, you, you know, you have personal people that take care of business. Why don't you have a mortgage profess- professional right. or a real estate agent that you can call anytime and, you know, get the answers that you need? Right. And I think that's lacking out there because uh, there's a lot of questions out there about the economy and what they should do. And, you know, we bring up all these words with, you know, uh, in mortgages like uh, FHA and VA, and a lot of people are like, well, I don't understand. Right, right. And uh, if you're just being sold, that's not going to help. So you want to get with somebody, and I think I bring that to the table, and I know you at Ross does, is, do, is uh, the trust factor right. of making a difference in people's lives and have an impact for not just now but in the future. And, and every customer you and I have ever worked with together, I mean, they all say the same thing about you, just that – after speaking with you for just a few minutes, they can tell you're different from anybody else they've talked to. And they almost instantly trust you because they can tell you're looking out for their best interest, not just trying to sell them something. Well, that's exactly it. You know, and I, I remember when I had my daughter come to you to rewrite her mortgage, you know, and that's the trust we have because you want people that, that aren't in, you know, to, my attitude is that you can do a transaction, but mm-hmm. that will be your last one. Right. I don't want one transaction. I want a lifetime of transactions. So that makes a commitment on my end to make sure that, that I'm servicing. And as you know, this is an industry of service. You're right. And I used to tell my staff, you know, what's the limit on service? There is no limit on service. It never ends. You're right. And, and that's, so, a, that's a great way to look at it. That it is, and it is the right way to look at it. it. It isn't just a matter of doing something and getting paid. It's a matter of developing a relationship that's going to go forward for a lifetime. Right. And you end up service, if you do the right job, you'll service their children and their children's children. So and, I, I, uh, and bef- before we get too far, I, I just wanted to give Dick's contact info out. If you're just tuning in now and you're thinking about buying or selling, you know, anywhere in Worcester County or Middlesex County, Dick covers the majority of it, uh, especially the 495 belt and then east and west on Route 9. A uh, lot of expertise there. You can't go wrong if you give him a call. His number, the best way to get a hold of him is 978-868-8621. Again, it's Dick Urado, and his number is 978-868-8621. And, Dick, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing out there for activity? We're hearing a lot of issues with lack of inventory. There's not enough for, for sale right now. Are you you're still seeing the same thing? I am. You know, it's amazing. Uh, it, it's a seller's market right now. Um, 
a lot of homes that I've just seen in the last week and some open houses I did is they're getting multiple offers. Mm -hmm. So what's happening, you really don't have the inventory, but you have a backlog of buyers. And there's a lot of people out there looking to buy. Right. So if you're in the market to sell, this is the time to do it because your home will sell if it's priced right. And uh, that's what you're finding. So as buyers, the rates are still fantastic. Uh, the home prices, you know, have gone up 9.5%, you know, they project this year. So it's still a great time to buy a home uh, before. But if you wait, and I have a lot of people saying, well, I'm just going to wait. Mm -hmm. Well, the prices are going to go up. They are. And I think that's the problem. And I have young couples that say, well, I'm going to save a little more. Well, you could save, but if the house is going to go up more than what you save, you're going to be able to buy less house in a year. Right. It's a losing battle. Exactly. And with all your programs at Ross that I've utilized, they're just great programs where these people can, can, can be, you can find a mix and a fit. Right. You know, which, which these, which these uh, you know, three and a half percent down. So a lot, a lot of young couples feel like, hey, I, I don't know. I, I can't put 20 percent down. You don't have to put 20 percent right. down. I'm still so surprised that, that I hear that so often from people that they're waiting because they feel like they have to have 20 percent down, you know, because they're still hearing the lingering stories of the, you know, the mortgage market or the real estate uh, bubble bursting in 2007 and eight, And they still think it's hard to get a mortgage, but it really isn't. It, it, it's not difficult. There's a little more paperwork involved than there was maybe seven, eight years ago, but it's not hard by any stretch, I would say. Yeah, exactly right. You know, and, and people uh, some are in the bubble. They just don't know. They need some facts. You know, should I sell? You know, should I buy? You know, what should I do? Because people are making life changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what you were saying before, too, is that when we become part of their partnership and part of the solution, um, because I'd rather turn a listing away right. than, than have a listing that's not going to be good. And I tell my young couples that come into me, first-time homebuyers, I don't want to make your house poor. Right. I mean, if you're in a house and I've made a sale and you can't buy a pizza, I've really done nothing. You're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> and you're going to remember my name yeah. every day. Yeah. When, every when day they have, that you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's every, right. Every day that they have to eat SpaghettiOs and bologna for dinner. <laughs> that's you're, right. You're right. You're right. You know, so it's great to have a house. But what, that's why you want to get, let's say, with Ross Mortgage, where you get the, the expertise of, you know, what's your budget? First of all, if you're going out with a realtor and they're not asking you questions about your budget and what you can afford, mm -hmm. and they're showing you everything on the block, they're not doing you a service. Right. Because we want to make sure that when you get in the house, that it's affordable and that it's going to be something that you know you can build on. Mm -hmm. Because home ownership is growing in the country, and almost 85% of the people still believe it's a viable alternative to renting. Oh, it absolutely is. You know, but you need to get with the people that are going to be part of the family. You know, I always say it's like fast food. If you're driving around during the day looking for a hamburger and fries, and then you go buy that nice old diner that reminds you of the, you know, the, the great meal, maybe that's where you should be going. Right. So I always tell my clients, you know, you can go fast food, but you're going to pay the price. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It doesn't always come down to dollars and cents. You, you, you get what you pay for. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's just education. Right. Uh, so I see a, a whole realm of people that are coming in. And at my open houses... That's what I'm seeing the most of is, you know, you get the young first time home buyers that are looking to buy. They're anxious because it's a great big investment, mm -hmm. you know, and their parents are, 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 are just don't want them to jump into a house. So the parents are coming sometimes with them and trying to give them advice. But what you do, what you should do is is get with a, a professional, sit down, look at your alternatives, understand the process, right. have somebody walk through the entire process, not just the beginning part. That's going to be, be there to you, not just when you close and forget you and give you a gift, <laughs> right. but it's going to be there so you can call. And that's what you want. And I and I and I, one I'm, one of your specialties is actually working with first time home buyers and educating them and getting them through the process. Correct. Yeah. When I was in my background, I had a, a long 35 years plus in, in mortgage lending. And well, Dick, to, how could you have 35 years in lending if you're only, what, 37, 38 now? Well, that's <laughs> it. You know, I, 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 I'm not a baby yeah. boomer. Well, I really am a baby boomer. I just don't want to admit it. I think somebody found a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're so polite. I am definitely going to run for office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um, but I, I think what's going to happen is um, what I'm seeing out there is, you know, you're looking at it, people are looking at investments. Mm -hmm. uh, and I tell young couples all the time and any type of person that's looking for real estate. It's still a viable investment because CDs are paying less than 1%. Mm -hmm. And real estate can, if you price it right and get into it the right way, 
is still a way uh, to make a living and try to increase your income. Absolutely. You know, and, uh, and young couples could go into multifamilies. A lot of them don't realize that. Well, get into a multifamily, let somebody else help you pay your mortgage. Right. There's a lot of ways that you can do it and just not buying a single family home. Right. Um, and I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people don't realize that. You know, they're thinking, you know, how am I going to afford a $400,000 house, you know, say somewhere east of four ninety five. Right. Uh, well, there's a great way to do it. That's buy a multifamily. I mean, you could buy a multifamily for what, say, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars. If you, even if it's a, a two or even a three unit, you're going to have a lot of rental income to offset the payment, which is going to make it a lot easier to qualify for the deal. Absolutely, and uh, this is just alternatives they're not aware of, you know. Right. And and that goes all the way up to baby boomers too. That you know, we're looking. Hey, I want to, I want to get out of my house. It's too big, and we're living in one room. We shut off all the rooms, uh, you know. And now they're looking for a ranch because they don't want to go upstairs. Right. So that's what's happening. And I, I think what's happening with them is now they don't know what they, what they want to do because I say, look, at the market's strong. Houses are selling. So if you sell your house, what's your plan? Uh, do you want to go into a 55 and older? Do you want to get a condo? Are you looking into renting or leasing? You know, because um, that's what's going to happen because you've got to be prepared. That's why you sit with some professionals. Right. You know, for your mortgages and uh, in real estate. You want to get these answers, and that's why with me, I give a free consultation to let people, look, just give me 30 minutes of your time. Let me understand what's going on with your situation. Everybody's mm -hmm. different, and I'll tell you. You know, it's, it's like that story, like this, this young college girl was, um, had got a job in selling uh, jeans. I used to say dungarees, but then that would be a baby boomer. <laughs> so, so jeans, and so her manager said, hey, we don't really sell jeans here, but see what you can do. So she sat there during the day, and people would come in and buy one or two jeans. So one day, she decided, she was bored, she said, but her background in college was, was fashion. Mm -hmm. So people would come out, you know, and the girls would be trying on the jeans, and their girlfriends would say, oh, they look great. And she would say, no, that doesn't look great. That's, that's not the right style for you. You, the, you. The waistline is too low or too high. Well, at first, the people were saying, this girl's crazy. She's going to lose sales. Well, mm -hmm. people started respecting her because she was telling them the truth right. and helping them. And wouldn't you know it that that department took off and was the largest department in the store selling jeans. Wow. And I think that's the, what I try to bring with what I do in real estate and, and, and what you do with mortgages is that we're just not going to give you something that's not good for you. We're going right. to give you our professional advice and years of experience and help you and help you lead you. You're going to finally make the decision, but you need the tools to do that. You're right. You and, and if you're just tuning in now or if you've been listening to, uh, to Dick talking about real estate and you're, you either have questions about buying or selling, you'd like to get a hold of them, best way to get in touch with them is to give them a call, 978-868-8621. Again, it's Dick Urato at ERA Key Realty Services in Marlboro, 978-868-8621. And... When you're talking to uh, to people that are looking to buy these days, Dick, what would you say is the the most important advice that you can give them if they're either just starting out or they're a move up buyer that has a house to sell? Well, what it is um, um, for the middle one, which is a move up. You know, they've yeah. already owned a house and they need to buy a house. Right. They wear two hats. They're a buy. They're a seller, and you got to remember, like we were talking before, as a seller, uh, you have a different hat on. You're selling a commodity. Right. Like coal and rice and wheat, because as a buyer, you're buying a home, which is going to have memories. Mm -hmm. So it has a it has an emotional attachment. But when you're selling, people don't care that, you know, that you have a swimming pool, you know, that you you built yourself or, <laughs> you know, yeah. that you have a special cherry floor that you hand carved. Right. It's a commodity. It, it's all about what the market will bear. Right. So the best thing I give the advice is, first of all. You want to get yourself in a, in a position that you're pre-approved. You've got to get to a mortgage specialist. You, Bob, at Ross Mortgage, and we've worked many years together. Thank is you, Dick. How much can you afford? Right. You know, because, you know, I can show you a Mercedes, but if you really should have a, an Accord, maybe that's where you're going to be happy. Right. Because that's what you have to do. So getting pre-qualified, understanding your budget where you know how much you can afford. Mm -hmm. Because I don't care what the house looks like and how pretty it is, if you're can't sleep at night because you can't pay the payment, you're not happy. Right. And that's that's the problem. And the next step is to find out, okay, what is your wants and desires and dreams of what are you trying to accomplish? Whether you're first time buyer, middle, or baby boomer trying to get out of your home and go on to do something else. 
I have baby boomers that tell me, well, I'm not getting out of my house. I love my house. I love my neighbors. Well, maybe uh, you should be talking about a reverse mortgage. Right. That's a great way to stay in the house. Exactly. I mean, you have all that equity. I mean, if you're eating canned beans and you have 600000 equity in your house, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, it really <laughs> yeah, is. Uh, yeah. Certainly. And there's a lot of people out there like yeah. that. And a stop worrying about leaving yeah. your kids a big inheritance and, and yeah. living like a pauper in the meantime. That's right. Yeah. That's right. If your kids are buying the beans for you, they, they, maybe you think of maybe uh, changing your will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Uh, and what you said about pre, getting pre-qualified or pre-approved, that is a very important step. And it's one of the things we try to impress upon the audience. Because if you go out, you know, if you assume because you, let's say you make $5,000 a month, so you assume that you can afford a $3,000 a month payment. Just because you feel like you could cover it or, you know, your brother's going to kick in for rent, stuff like that, you can't use that stuff to qualify for the loan. The last thing we want you to do is go out, fall in love with a $500,000 house, only to find out you only quali- qualify to buy a $200,000 house. Because there are some nice houses out there in various communities in the, the $200,000 range, but they're not going to look that nice to you after you fell in love with something that cost a half a million. Absolutely. And, and you got to be realistic about what you want. Your, your first home, your first home is not going to be your last home. No. People used to, li- to to move every four years. It's gone up to seven and a half right. years now because of the way the economy is. So you, you people say, well, I'm, about, I'm buying this house and I'm never moving. Yes, you are going to move. <laughs> yeah, you are. You, yeah. Things change. If you have three daughters you know, on the way and uh, you have three daughters that were born and everybody's sharing one bathroom, you're going to move. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if you have one daughter in one bathroom, That's you're going right. to move. <laughs> exactly uh, right. But that's uh, that's very interesting stuff, and you know, I'd just like to share Dick's contact info one more time. Uh, it's it's Dick Urado at ERA Key Realty Services Distinctive Group in Marlboro. The best number to reach him is nine seven eight eight six eight eight six two one. Again, it's nine seven eight eight six eight eight six two one. If you uh, if you have any questions for us here at Ross Mortgage, you can give us a call anytime at eight 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 nine eight six. 0060, or you can check us out on the web at rossmortgageco.com. Dick, I want to thank you for uh, for being on the show today. That was a great segment. Well, yeah, I really want. I appreciate you having me here, and uh, I'm telling you, this is a uh, this is the first time in your new facility. It, it is absolutely gorgeous. Great, it is uh, unbelievable, thank and thank, thank you, you so much. Yep. Thank you, and we'll be back with more real estate matters after this. Uh-huh. 